This is episode 76 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, January 31st, 2022. In this week's show, Chris and Charlie review four craft beers. The first three are from Cahaba Brewing Company, and then the last is a collaboration between Wren House Brewing Company and Horace Age Dales. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. Got your other host, Charlie. Wait a minute. It's counting. It's running. Very well. Charlie's got us uh, got us some new beers today. Well, I got some. I got, I, uh, I was gifted a couple of beverages, three of them to be exact. Uh, we're going to drink four today, but uh, the three are, a, are from, uh, what the heck is the name of this? Chab- Chahaba? Cahaba. Cahaba Brewing Company in uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Alabama. It says it's located in uh, in the historic Continental Gin. Wow. Downtown Super Birmingham. Cool. We got we got a lager, an IPA, and a stout, an oatmeal stout, and then we have a um, collab with Ren House and Horace Stout. So there's a bunch of adjuncts in there, so I'm thinking that's going to be really good. So the rest of these, we're going to give them a shot. What are you going to start us off with? Lager. You ever had one before? No. <laughs> Never. Not this one. So uh, what they what they got going on here is uh, they, they say they proudly uh, introducing your new favorite beer, uh, Cahaba Lager. This wow. lager is light bodied with simple ingredients yet brewed complexity. That's... Uh pretty forward yeah says hops uh, pilsner malt and uh flake maize gives this beer a sweet taste that finishes dry it is sweet smelling i don't know i don't know if it's gonna be my favorite those are big words mm-hmm. it is a lager i'll give it that and it is pretty doggone tasty it is actually pretty pretty tasty so thanks to grayson uh i actually went up there and uh to society and uh, saw Troy and Grayson. T. Roy. And uh, Troy gave me a bottle of wine that I had him grab for me when he was up in uh, Napa, I think. Yeah. And um, Grayson came out and we visited for a minute and then uh, he he brought back a couple of beers for me. So, la di da, I'm on my way. I was happy. I like it. That's tasty beer. Yeah, it is. Pretty good. I'm a big fan of lagers. I don't, yeah. The thing is, though, is, I mean, when they say that up front, you know, you're going to love it. It's going to be your next favorite beer. I, I'm not going to say this is my favorite beer. Favorite beer I've had today. Well, yeah. Okay. I mean, if we want to go that route. I mean, I'm not so... Uh, it is. It's got a unique taste to it. I'll give it that. It does. A nice corn yeah, lager taste. I don't taste. know what that is. It's It's good. It's... But uh, easy drinker. Uh, it doesn't got the ABV on here, huh? Now, why some of them don't put that? I don't understand that. I wish they all would. But does it say on their their info what what the ABV? Yeah, is? exactly. What did I say? I was like, it had that corn taste. And what's flaked maize? Flaked corn maize. They're using Indian words. I like it. So what's uh, what's the ABV? Does it say? It's got to be like 4%, 4. percent, four point eight. Pump it up, six point one. Woo! Maybe it is my favorite. I'm telling you, that's a good beer. <laughs> you don't taste that, that's for sure. No, it's like just that you taste a lot of corn on, the, on that. You're busting end. the maize out with it. That's one. Damn, that's a. That's, that's a pretty tasty, cool. That's a tasty beverage. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Big Knock fan on it. Now they're making me feel bad that I you're over there. I dissed them flapping your gums. Well, I'm moving my mic too, so that's probably not helpful for Steve. Oh, we didn't even mention Steve. Steve wasn't able to make it again. Wow, I think he quit us. You we'll know? see. We'll see if we can't talk him into I'll, I'll showing we'll up next week. We'll go over there and week. beg with beer and on our knees. How's that? Mm-hmm. Maybe that'll convince him. I know. We'll bring Star Wars stuff. The problem is we've been just delivering him the same beers that we've previously that's made him right. come over to drink. No, that's we we've been we were stabbing ourselves in the back. <laughs> now we just now we just deliver him to the door. Yeah, hey, we'll bring a pile why over. He, Don't worry. Why, why would he come over? I told him I need to keep him hydrated, so that's a plus. 
Good beer. I'm. I actually, is, is that you again? You and your skiing videos. Is that oh, you yeah. skiing? May have been. Wow. May have been, uh, a skiing video. I was trying to look something else up, but <laughs> I've been watching a lot of skiing videos, trying to get myself. I I purchased a uh, snowmobile suit. There you go. Is it a one piece? Yeah. Where'd you onesie. pick it up at? Uh, Omar the tent maker. <laughs> <laughs> it's a larger be, than normal i just asked because we were talking about when we went to colorado we we're like how cool would it be if we all had like one Onesies. piece <laughs> you know all of us across the board just <laughs> <laughs> you know like you'd have to find some i don't know it'd have to be some thrift shop somewhere deep deep yeah. in wyoming it would and they would all have to be fittable you know are you just buy <clears> one size fits all type that would be interesting. Oh, that's tasty. <laughs> it's got amazing it for Do you current. have four more of those? No, I don't. Sorry. Just that one. Mm. So that was a good beer. Um, you know, certainly sure light, you know, six six point one percent. Certainly didn't um it was really clean crisp. Um uh, that, that corn lager taste. I do like the end finish. Yeah, it was great. We could uh, do an Alabama trip. Um a lot of good beer between here and Alabama. That's what I mean. <clears throat> well, let's see if they have any other good beers down in this. Uh, There's a possibility. What's uh, what's next on your agenda? It's going to be one of your favorites, I'm sure. It's the IPA. Ooh, what's that thing called? It has no name on it. It's got the name right there. You're looking oh, at it. Oka Uba. How do you spell that? Oka Uba. O-K-A-U-B-A IPA. All righty. Oka Uba. Yeah. Uh, an American IPA in the truest sense. They say this, uh, the straightforward Oka Uba is loaded with classic hops at the end of the boil, then dry hopped for an earthy, slightly citrusy flavor and aroma. This gorgeous IPA illuminates orange and red hue and light. Uh, it's a staple from both their community and their tap room. The name is derived from the indigenous word for the Cahaba River and can, uh, can be translated to uh, the water above. Wow. There it is. A little bit of a... Uh, well, at least they didn't say, welcome to your new favorite beer. Yeah. Then when, that would be conflicting with the first beer. Your second, your second favorite <laughs> beer. Second favorite beer. Oh, look at the color. Wow. That's a juicy looking thing. Whoa. Whoa. You driving. Sorry. I didn't, didn't mean to over pour there. So the... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the majority of these cans are, are available locally, you know, kind of around the um, the Birmingham area and, and uh, some of your finer beverage stores such as Win dixie and... Uh, <laughs> Win dixie the Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> so, Win dixie The Shonies, is there any Shonies available there? Yeah. <clears throat> what do you get? Malty there? there. Is it? A little bit. I don't smell that, sorry. It's just kind of citrusy smelly to me what the heck am i doing here dog a monster dumping beer fresh beer all over and so that's a uh you know an ipa coming in at seven percent um i like an ipa at seven percent what does it taste did you taste it yeah um i i think you know i'm a bigger fan of the lager um, then the, uh, it just really doesn't do anything for me. I mean, it's decent. It's not a, you know, it's not too bitter. It's not too, not too malty. It's kind of middle of the. So far, my favorite beer is that lager. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean. They, they put it up and there it is. Yeah, I would say there's nothing, you know, like, I mean, you, drinkable, but the. Um, I, I don't know that I would get one of these if I had a taster of it. Right. That would be the end of it. I would I mean, stop at that lager. Great color, but it's you know I expected it to. I guess I expected it to be maltier than it is. It's not. Mm -hmm. um, That's for sure. I'm tasting a lot of malt on the flavor. I don't taste it on the or I don't smell it. Not maybe I'm not tasting. Yeah, malt. Kind of a weird like kind of a weird back end. What are the hops in there? They tell you. I don't know. They uh, they got anything on the can? Oh, I didn't see that. I mean, it's not a whole lot of info in the can for what's in here. I'll tell you that. Nothing. Nothing on there? Let no. me see that. Oh, Positively boy. nothing. You've got a lot of other things on there. Yeah. They don't have the ABV and they don't have the hops, so. Nothing. 
send them a little message. Says this is their tap room classic, 002. Must have been one of their well, one maybe of the that's first the beers. style that people like down there. Maybe that flavor is more, you know, Alabamish. You know, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not complaining about it. I mean, I don't care what people drink. It's just. That wouldn't be my go-to. No, it certainly wouldn't. You know, I mean, I'm I'm a bigger, you know, I like uh, I'm West Coast uh, guy. You know, do you, I mean, I, I don't want to say it's it's just nothing. There's nothing in there that says, hey, uh, um, you know, that that has me not forgetting that beer. Hey, next drink week. more of me. Right. <laughs> that's that's true. I, I'm gonna have to say that too. I mean, it's not bad. That's for sure. But it's just not. Compared to some of the stuff that we have drank that are just regular IPAs. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just, I mean, I think that's what it is. It's just a regular IPA. You know, it's just a, you know, not too malty. Down not the middle. Too, you know, it's just balanced bitterness, balanced maltiness. Um, but but just not not something that I'd reach over it for a different beer. For that lager, that's my favorite. So, right now it is. I mean, so what'd you, what'd you drink this week? Ooh, so I, uh, yesterday, I found myself in close vicinity to Pizza Port up in, uh, in Carlsbad. Interesting. So I, uh, I dropped in and got a little pizza, got some garlic beer buddies with cheese, oh, and a steep nice. and deep West Coast IPA. That sounds good. It was, uh, it was pretty tasty. It was, um, it was really good. It was, uh, um, Mosaic and Nelson Hops, two of my favorites. Hmm. It was, uh. The tasty beverage. Shock you went right to the West Coast IPA. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it's just so not you. <laughs> well, I was down at Bottlecraft while I was picking up some candles and uh, some stuff for my wife. And um, I jumped in there and I bought some stuff, but uh, I forgot to, I think I mentioned to you about what I found there on tap. You did. That daydream state of mind from the other half and North Park Brewing. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely fabulous. Probably one of the best things I've tasted in a long time. It was, a, it was out of good, the park huh? good. Out of the park good. Just citrus, uh, strata. Oh, gosh. There were two other hops in there, and I can't remember what they were. But, man, it was super good. I mean, I... I even emailed them to see if they had a keg or a sixthole or something available. I would have bought that up real quick. I'm still going to have to hit Gene up to see if uh, see if he can get me one, if if nobody else can. So if North Park is not willing, I don't think the other half is going to ship me one from New York City. Probably not. <laughs> it's, I can bet on that. But, uh, yeah, I had that, and I was really, really impressed with it. But I also had that uh, Wayfinder uh, check bills. Oh, how was that? That was delicious. They did a pretty doggone good job with that. I mean, check pills is, I mean, if you can do that, you can do anything. I think that's just a different Pilsner. So I like it a lot. And I think I had a humble seat, but I, mean, won't, I won't go <clears throat> further. That, uh, it's kind of alcoholy. That, uh, that IPA there, that Oka Uba. I mean, you'd certainly taste, you know, that 7%. You taste nothing at the 6.1%, the lager. I don't know if it's the alcohol or what. It's just awfully weird on the bitter side. I mean, to me, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to I'm gonna have to wash out here with some uh, mineral water. Ooh, that's some tasty stuff there, too. Wow. Had some of that. Mm. That was good. Okay. We're going from this, I mean, straight up the wall here from lager, IPA, straight to an oatmeal stout. Good night. This is going to be. And it's a straight up, it's no adjuncts. And it's, ooh, gosh, that smells pretty good, actually. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's really let me help you out there, Haas. So same brewery here, uh, Cahaba Brewing Company. This is an oatmeal stout. comes in at 6.2%. Uh, Steel Cut City oatmeal stout play, uh, pays homage to the resiliency of the uh, Birmingham community. So oatmeal stout mirrors our Steel City, a rich mix of culture, tradition, and innovation. Steel Cut City is a classic benchmark of bittersweet, roasty, and chocolatey notes. Enjoy its velvety, smooth texture that's both light and complex. It smells like roasted coffee. 
Certainly does smell. Roasty. Not a roasty malt in there. Yeah, it smells really good. What's the hit say? What's it say? Come on, let me know. What did it, what did it come in at? 6.1%? Yeah. That's awesome. Is it? That's really, really good. Ooh, yeah, no, it's nice, take. smoky, nice, smoky flavor. That's good. That's super good. You know, it's uh, it's not, you know, it's a, it's a great, uh, you know, it's, it's super thin. You know what I'm going to say? What's that? I'm going to get up to the mic first before I say it. Um, I'm going to say this, this reminds me more of a porter than a stout. Yeah, it's, you know, it's thin. I think it's, uh, it's, it's not like a. It's great. Yeah. But it's it just doesn't. really roasty, thin, roasty. Flavor. I thought it'd be a little more thicker if it was an oatmeal stout. But although I haven't had one of those, in a yeah, while, you know, I and I compare everything stout to Guinness. So, yeah, if you're gonna do it, that's that's where you want to be in that corner. No, that's and good. This is this is this is pretty doggone good though. I mean, be good on nitro, huh? Hey, there's a suggestion. You still got any left in that? Yeah, can? I do. I think every. I think everything's better on nitro, to be honest yeah, with you. A... I mean, it just, it enhances the taste. Sounds like this is one of their seasonal beers. Yeah, I can't, I guess I can't imagine Steel too many people in city. September and, you know, the end of August. Oh, throwing Birmingham. those down out there. Hey, yeah. if they're cold, what the heck? Yeah. I bet you they drink a lot of that lager, though. Yeah. I would, I'd advise that. Oh, yeah, I mean, that can. That lager can again. Sure. That one's empty. Ooh. Good luck. You can squeeze the last drop out of there. I don't even uh, know if I can. <laughs> and it, it says an Italian lager, tap room classic. So they opened up probably these two beers, stout, you know, pale well, that, ale. That would be the three beers that you would start a brewery with. I mean, shocker. I don't know if I would bet my money on that one, but. It's not bad though. I mean, no, it's, if you're not making a West Coast or a just a regular IPA, just not yeah, my style. I Decent. I Forget. Know. I mean, it's nothing. I think not I would that. rather go with a pale ale than that. If they yeah. made a pale ale that had those hops in it, whatever that is, and then just eased it up a little bit, it is not nearly as malty. Thing. Yeah, that would be a magic beer for them. I'm just personal opinion. I've drank a few beers, allegedly. Mm. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> Speaking of which, what do you think of this, Charlie? This, this is good. You know, it kind of reminds me of uh, a little bit of Deft. Their stout. Yeah, their um, not their stout. Their porter their... is what it reminds me of. Yeah, I forget what I, what, what beer it was they. Mm. <sighs> Very drinkable, and I'm a big just regular stout fan. If you can do it right, I'm your friend. I'll drink your beers and lots of them. I yeah, that is drinkable for sure. <sighs> you know, thin, light, roasty, I think. It doesn't leave a really gargantuan taste on the back of your tongue as nope. after at the end of it. I, I you know, I, I it's definitely, I, it outkicked uh, my expectations. Wow. I'll say. Little you know, football I didn't have, vernacular. I didn't have very, uh, have very high expectations of that beer, and it definitely uh, came through. <laughs> I thought it was all going to go downhill after the lager. <laughs> Perfect. Well, do you want to get into this tasty morsel? Because this is going to be a jump. Let me tell you. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I mean, it's got enough. It's got enough adjuncts in it right now. I mean, uh, cinnamon, cacao, vanilla, marshmallows. That's pretty. That's a pretty impressive uh, front end there. So this is uh, a, a Predation Noir uh, from Ren House Brewing, a collaboration with Horace Agedales. Uh, they they note this as a, an extra decadent riff on our OG Imperial S'mores Stout, uh, brewed up with their best stout bud Kyle from Horace Brewing. Uh, this is one of the first Imperial Stouts to come out of the Prescott facility, and we're all over the moon with the results. Uh, big fancy system allowed for high mash efficiency, efficiency and a very precise boil control. Um, fit as much rich, flavorful malt as they could in the mash tun, boiled uh, for hours and hours, and added complex sugars. Uh, what do they got? 12.5%. 
it says they they conditioned and had double the uh, cacao and double the Madagascar vanilla beans uh, as the standard predation. It's the can is really good looking. These other cans over here, we didn't go over the can art here. Their can art was average. I mean, it's very uh, bland. I'm going to say that. Maybe that's their style. But Horace has got birds flying to the moon. It's got black and silver, like a raider motif, which is kind of cool. But uh, kind of nice, actually. What do you think? Let me see. I'm going to let you go first because you are the Egbert. Doubtful. <laughs> smells a little, you can smell that cinnamon. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I, that's one of my cinnamon things about vanilla. stout. So you put that in there, it's really hard to back it off. That's a good beer. Uh oh. Um, yeah. Definitely a lot of vanilla in there. Um, gosh, that's really good. That cinnamon, you don't, that, you smell a lot of cinnamon. Uh, it's way, I mean, obviously way thicker than the, than the oatmeal stout we just had, right? Like on a, you know, viscosity. Yeah, though. I mean, like a three or four X. I think I scooped it out with a rubber spatula. Yeah. So, you know, like there's that change. It's just, you know, the velvety mouthfeel that you, that you know from. I was expecting more <clears throat> flavor that I'm getting. Yeah. It's, it's definitely, you know, kind of muted on the flavors that you don't, you don't taste a whole lot of cinnamon. You taste a lot of the, the vanilla. And it's, you know, chocolatey but it's not like overly chocolatey there's nothing that really like stands out and pops no you, when you're used to drinking his it's not in i don't know maybe i mean i don't know how much um input he has when he does these with people because there's some he does that with people that are pretty doggone good and this is good but it's not on the level of his so I think maybe he doesn't, you know, once he's done, he's done and he walks away from it and hopes it turns out, you know, better than, you know. You know, I, I don't know. The um, I'd like to sit down with him and talk to him about how, especially with collabs, what'd you say? Hmm. No, you did. You said something. What'd I you say? say nothing. Good luck. Was that? No, I didn't say No, said. I said do it. Do, do it. it. But, uh, you know, just sit down and, you know, pop a couple of bottles with him and just talk. I mean, We'll not talk about his life or his experience or anything. We can just talk about his beers or some other beers, collabs that he's done. That would be super interesting. He's done a lot of collabs. Oh, millions of them. It's ridiculous. I mean, everything and everything he does is usually, you know, right on. I mean, his beers, his own beers are. What was that? Were you yawning? No, I was, I was adjusting my microphone. <laughs> Anyways, his beers are lights out. I mean, there's, I don't think I've had a bad one yet. I mean, even with all those ones we popped at that tasting, holy crud, man. Not one of them was bad. Yeah, there were some, there were some really, really good beers. Some of them falling off a little bit, but it was, uh, it was amazing. How I didn't many think he had, he had pulled out. I mean, it just, it was so good. And then I'll beg him for a, um, uh, what was it? The Tornado, tor Sharknado one. Oh, the barley wine. Holy crud. Yeah. Oh, and tasty. I like that. That was tasty. I like that Venmo you sent me. <laughs> what was it? Barley wine and something else. Moonshine. Moonshine. <laughs> mm, funny kid you are. This yeah. is getting better. I think if this warms up a little bit, it's going to be a heck of a lot tastier. It's good already, but you know what I mean? I'm going to cup it and hold it. That shark, uh, Sharknado 28, I think you're the, the pastry barley wine with uh, uh, toffee haze and lots of vanilla bean. Yeah. That was so good. Like liquid candy. That was my favorite one out of all the beers. That was a good beer. Uh, caramel was just lights out on that beer. Everything was. I mean, that, that was just like, I mean, it was a barley wine, which is really crazy to me. I mean, he's doing that with barley wines. Yeah. That's why we, uh, anything he makes, we buy because it's all good. I mean, 100%. The mead, oh, so good. So, yeah. so good. <clears throat> yeah, there was definitely some beers. I should have uh, taken that can out of the refrigerator an hour ago. I'm looking at some of the beers from that Ale Tales uh, uh, tasting. Yeah, and that's a cool place, too. We did, did we talk about that? I don't know if we did. It's a neat little, uh, neat little spot. Well, 
downtown San Diego. Did you see these? I um a while a while ago. A while ago, wasn't it? It was a couple of days, weeks, a week ago, maybe. A week ago, maybe. But I'm I'm just uh, I just don't want to miss anything. No, I think it, I think I've already bought those. Huh? That's the father of uh, Filberts. Yep. Oh, it? okay, great. I'm, I'm assuming. Good. I'm good, but the the beers we had there were, I mean, they started in this color and went to that color. Oh, and that was your favorite, right? That Phoenix. Yeah, that was good. That uh, Phoenix Lux. Those pure really and uh, yeah, pure project. Pure or pure? Uh, pure. 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 Right. Pure. Uh, yeah. Pure. Pure. We spell it different, but we pronounce it different too. So <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing beers. All right, that no, it was great. It was a lot of fun. Did this I is heard, a great beer too. Then I heard it, you cats. <laughs> That's right. Hey, so while we uh, recap real quick, Charlie, um, so we had ourselves four different beers, right? Let's uh, let's let's look at them in, in two categories, right? Our after party beer, yeah, the Horace and the Wren House, right? A little different uh, rum than than the other three. Uh, but first we had the lager, uh, the corn lager. It was phenomenal. Tasty. It is my favorite beer out of the group. Okay. Um, then next we had the IPA. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the name of that IPA again? Uba Tuba. No, it's uh, Oka Uba. Oka Uba, the uh, the river. Um, yeah. And then finally we had the Steel Cut City, uh, the oatmeal stout. Your favorite was the, how'd you rank those one, two, and three? I'd go lager, IPA, stout. No, a lager, stout, IPA. I would go the same way. Lager, that lager was phenomenal. That IPA, eh, and the, the, you know, the stout, I, I would certainly drink it again. <laughs> of course you would. <laughs> you know, I, I think I'd drink a lot more of that lager, though. Yeah, tons more. On, you know, it was, that was great. Welcome to your new favorite beer. There it that's is. The that last was the hey, one you'll you, ever have. It's probably the best beer that they uh, they push out of that facility. I would imagine. That's a phenomenal beer. Well, until Dip- next week. Huh? Well, we did the stout with Horace, too. Oh, the start with Horace. And then that's phenomenal. It's a different category, though, I think. Ah, that that's tasty. Good. That's tasty. Till next week. Till next time. Cheers. We hope you have enjoyed today's show. If you would like to subscribe to this show via your favorite podcast player application, then head over to the podcraft.com website and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures and videos of all the beers we try, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us direct feedback and to connect with us on social media. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a super awesome rest of your day. The Podcraft Beer Show podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2022. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email the podcraft podcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed in this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.